so hi students uh, in this video i am going to discuss three topics number one is relation of and gate with diode number two relation of or gate with diode and number three relation of not gate with a transistor so first we will discuss the relation of and gate with diodes now before we go into the details of the functioning of and gate we need to know that in a diode now this is a pn junction diode if it is forward bias so this p this n this side high potential this side low potential then in forward bias this diode will offer low resistance now low resistance now we can assume that this resistance is almost equal to zero so that means if the resistance is almost equal to zero that means there is no potential drop okay so if there is no potential drop then in a forward bias diode the two ends two opposite ends will always be at same potential similarly if it is reverse bias it will if it is reverse bias then high resistance high resistance now basically this concept will be used in con construction of and gate now in the and gate we will have two diodes This is a common terminal resistor R, positive terminal, negative terminal. This is a 5 volt battery. The negative terminal is connected to earth, and this is connected to the output terminal X. So, this is input A, this is input B. This X is equal to A and B. So this is the output terminal. Okay. Now let us make the truth table, and this is X. So this is zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. Now let us see what happens when both the inputs are low. Now see, this is a P N junction diode. This is P. This is N. This is P. This is N. Okay. So this side you are applying low potential okay so initially both a and b are zero so this is zero this is zero okay now if this is zero this is zero see the, from this side this is positive potential this is negative potential so the p junction of the p type semiconductor on both sides both the diodes are getting high potential from this side this is zero this is zero so this is see this is p this is n this is p this is n so from this side you are getting zero potential from this side you are getting high potential so that means both the diodes are forward bias now as i told you if the diode is forward bias low resistance resistance is zero so there is no potential drop if there is no potential drop in this part suppose this is zero so that means this terminal should also be zero similarly if this is zero this is also zero so if both the inputs are zero the output is also zero now next suppose this is zero this is one that is a is zero b is one now b is one means this diode is now this diode is reverse bias okay now if this diode is reverse bias that means this diode is reverse bias so this won't conduct but what happens this is zero a is zero so if a is zero now this diode is forward bias so again potential across all these this wire will be safe no potential drop will be there so this is zero means output is again zero so this is zero now practically this thing implies that if any of the one of the input is zero if any one of the input is zero that particular diode will be forward bias and the potential at x will be equal to potential at a or b wherever you are giving zero low input next is so similarly when you a is 1 b is 0 when a is 1 b is 0 now this diode is forward bias so potential at b is equal to potential at x okay now when a is 1 b is 1 when a is 1 b is 1 this n type remember so that means now both the diodes are reverse bias 
Now, when both the diodes are reversed bias, this potential 5 volt, this is obtained across X. So, now when both the inputs are high, the output will be high. So, basically this means in the AND gate, any one of the input is low, the output is low. Okay. The output is high only when both the inputs are high. So, this is realization of AND gate with diode. So, for OR gate, construction of OR gate using diode, basically what we need to do is, this is the AND gate. So, these two diodes, turn them back to back, remove this source of potential. So, this is the AND gate. Okay. So, if you wish to have an OR gate, you, have, you just have to flip these diodes and remove this source of potential. Now, let us see what happens. So, for OR gate, the diodes in AND gate are flipped. Source of potential is removed. Source of potential is removed. This is this is to R, this is connected to R thing, this is terminal A, this is terminal B and this is the output X that is equal to A or B. Now let us make the truth table, this is the input not the output, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So now let us see what happens. Okay. Now, now, this is P, this is N, okay, and similarly, this is P, this is N. So, the negative terminal, N type terminal is connected to the ground, okay. Now, if both the terminals A and B have low potential, this is P, this is P, remember, okay. So, if both the inputs are low, the diodes, both the diodes are not forward bias, they will not conduct. So, that means, the output will be 0, there is no output, okay. Now suppose what happens if uh, A is 0, B is 1, this is 0 and this is 1, okay. This is 0, this is 1. Now if this is 0, this diode will not work, okay. But if this is 1, P is getting 1 that is high voltage and low voltage grounded. So that means this diode is forward bias. Now, if this diode is forward bias, what does that mean? Potential at B is equal to potential at X. Okay. As I told you, if there is no potential, see, if diode is forward bias, it will offer zero resistance. So, if there is zero resistance, there is no potential drop. That means throughout this, you will have same potential. This path, you will have same potential. So, if B is 1, output is 1. Similarly, by the same logic, if a is 1, B is 0, A is 1, B is 0, this diode is reverse bias, A is 1 means this diode is forward bias, so potential at A will be equal to potential at X, okay. If both are high, 1 and 1, that means both the inputs are high, so if both the inputs are high, both the diodes are forward bias, so again the output is potential at X is equal to potential at A or potential at B. So basically in OR gate, what happens? If any one of the input is high, the output is also high. So, this is realization of OR gate using diodes. Now, let us quickly see this realization of NOT gate, NOT gate with transistor, NOT gate with transistor, okay. So, basically, let us take an NPN transistor, okay, this is an NPN transistor, this is the base resistance, this is the input A, input A is given at this particular terminal, this is some resistance R, For the, this represents the resistance across this part. emitter base collector. So, RC represents the base across the collector. This point is grounded. So, this is high potential. 
so this is a 5 volt battery this is grounded so this potential is 0 okay now this is a npn transistor so this is n this is p and this is n okay now in a transistor always remember that in this it will work only when the input circuit is forward biased this this part is the input circuit and output circuit is reverse biased so n p n input circuit is forward biased output circuit is reverse biased now n p n this n terminal it is given a positive potential high potential so output circuit must be reverse biased so this is perfectly correct okay now let's say let's see how it functions now let's make the two table a x this is the two table for not gate okay now in not gate the if the input is low output is high if the output is high input is high output is no low now let's see whether this is applicable to this or not okay now this is a transistor npn transistor for proper as i told you for proper functioning of the transistor input circuit must be forward bias output circuit must be reverse bias now what does that mean this n p n n terminal is given positive potential perfectly correct n p okay now that means for this part to function for this part to function if i have to apply p means for this side if i need to forward bias this part this this is p so that means i need to apply high potential high potential so that means high potential means one in digital electronics okay so that means if this is one transistor will be biased okay now if transistor is biased this 5 volt potential will be conducted by the transistor to the ground so that means if input is high if this thing is conducted this 5 volt potential is conducted by the transistor to the ground no output will be obtained across x okay so this x is basically not a not a okay so not a means this is the x x is the output a is the input so not of a is x okay so if this transistor if the input is high high input is given transistor will start conducting it will be in on state this 5 volt potential will be grounded no output will be obtained across x so if this input is high output is low now input is low if, if this is zero that means p is getting a low potential so that means input circuit is now it is not forward bias so this transistor will not function now if this time transistor is in off state now transistor is in off state that means this 5 volt potential this can't go to the ground through the transistor that means this 5 volt potential will go through this part and we have level across x so that means if input is low output is high so this is relation of not gate with a transistor and uh, uh, my advice is for those students who are preparing these three topics relation of relation of and gate and uh, or gate and this transistor they may go through concept of physics concept of physics uh, volume 2 page number page number 411 beautiful explanation is given on these three topics so you may go through these things and uh, uh, if you uh, I, I would guess if, if you have missed this topic then uh, through this video you can revise it or uh, it will not take more than 10 minutes or so 10 to 15 minutes or so and uh, uh, keeping the last few years papers in mind uh, uh, I guess any one of these may come in the examination. So, best of luck.